I don't. I think. I think Virgil would fall in love with a lady. Virgil? I think. No, I think no. he probably loves somebody. Virgil just wants power. He, he thought he'd get more power yeah. from pushing. He's like, this pussy has power. Virgil said, like, <laughs> I'm eating fucking pussy. <laughs> that from again. <laughs> that's just something that, 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 I just kept saying that one day. That's right. Saying, that's right. We were playing third strike and I said, you know how I got good? Bright and fucking pussy. <laughs> it's them. These guys are sick. You guys I remember which one's guys. named which? Um, Agni's fire, Rudra's ice. The blue exactly. Martin Scorsese's on the left and the David Lynch's <laughs> on the right. <laughs> Did you see David Lynch is getting divorced the fourth time? Yeah, I don't know why that's news though. People should really know about that, I feel. <laughs> why is he like divorced getting divorced so much? Because he's insane. He, he's insane and I if you ever see like an interview clip where he gets mad, I imagine he just gets mad over tiny things and he gets old man like that. Mad. I've, exactly. I've seen have you ever seen that like that video where like he's just like staring in the camera and he looks really funny? <laughs> you you every that? Friday? Oh yeah, yeah, that the one. Yeah, he, every Friday. Or he he like, does those every Friday. Goes, it's a Friday once again. He looks He's gonna like, have, like bloodshot eyes next next one because of this. <laughs> he's slowly becoming more red each one. I mean, he's just an old man. Like, he is, that, yeah. it's just, like, he's just a weird I'm, I'm, old dude. He's so old. We're like, I'm like, he's probably like not gonna be around too much longer. You know, it's a horrible thought and everything, but he's old. I mean, really, he's just old. Uh, I know. I, well, think of like how much of like the Twin Peaks cast is just gone. Dude, think about how much of them were like on their fucking deathbed when season 3 came out. I know, right? Like the log lady, that was like, what a trooper she was. No kidding. Oh, I love the log lady. Hey, she had oh. fucking tubes in her nose. Like, that wasn't part of the show. That was. <laughs> no, yeah, she was just. And, like, uh, the guy who played Al in that, like, he he literally died while this episodes were airing. Yeah, and the guy who played, um. Oh, no, no, he just didn't do it. I was thinking of Sheriff Truman. Yeah, no, he, he just. He just was done. It's, I don't know. Because he was, I mean, he's probably done because he was old, so who could blame him? Yeah. Because when I watched season three, I was like, damn, the actor's gone? I guess he's dead like everyone else. I know, yeah. So for I, like a year, I thought he was dead, but he I, wasn't. I feel bad for the guy who plays Deputy Hawk. Oh, fuck. Because uh, every time they do like, um... Like a big oh, cast thing. They, they, well, they always forget to invite him to like cast like panel stuff, so it's always really sad. It's like, weird, it's like... This is one of the most important characters in season three. I know. Right? But like he aged like gracefully. I know. Right? He became a silver fox. <laughs> he became gray fox. <sighs> gray fox. Connor, I know you're ex right, excited to get this out of the way and done, so you can get to back to playing Fortnite as Solid Snake, your favorite. Oh, Connor, we, you should you should play we should play like a Metal Gear Solid game on the channel. On the oh. Channel. Uh, All right, I'm not gonna use Rail Guard for that. I, I wanted to try it once. <laughs> if you play a Metal Gear Solid game, you gotta bring Marco on though. If I was better at Metal Gear Solid, I would totally be down for doing that. This is a really long playthrough. That would be a long playthrough. <laughs> if you want, I could play it because I fucking have played all of them to death. Yeah. Are you good at one? I'm, I'm not good at one. Yeah, one's pretty easy. It's really the only hard part is like. The best one I'm at is three and five. Well, one is pretty easy. The only hard part is like, yeah, probably like the liquid fight, but that's... That, that, high, D, that high D fight and the liquid, uh, like, fist fight, that, that like, fucked me up really bad when I was playing. The high D fight is fun, though. I like that fight a lot. I mean, I've been sitting Connor all these, uh, six strats, though, for Metal Gear Solid 2, where you can, like, beat a boss in two seconds. Yeah, that shit's awesome. We should just we should play Metal Gear Solid 2, but just have a uh, DSP's uh, playthrough on. <laughs> Over. Let's have, watch uh, DSP. Have, yeah, just watch DSP. We should just have a, a webcam on and shit will be like edit a PNG of him on the couch next to us and he doesn't say anything. He just sits there. <laughs> He's just jerking off. <laughs> every once in a while, I have like be like a cum stream that shoots out, and then someone in the comments will be like, "All right, every DSP uh, combo with time code. Here you go." <laughs> what the fuck? What, what the what the fuck? These guys are trolling me. Who are these fucking guys? I, I like DSP. I mean, like, no DSP. Fun. We're actually Dude. huge fans. Well, he's a huge piece of shit, but I think sometimes. I think it's hilarious how long he's been doing it. I, I, I think Fahad is might be the biggest DSP fan I've ever met. It's not true. I think he's a piece of shit. But <laughs> I have watched a lot of his stuff just because, like, him directly or or edits of his stuff. Both. Yeah, I would say probably both. I, I don't know, there's something about like his content that's like, like, 
Oh no, it, Lurking God is definitely like more entertaining than him, but oh, he also has like a, God. Also, like yeah, a weird. Just a fan. He has like a weird like. I don't. I don't want to say charm. He's not charming, but. Remember, he's got an aura to him. Yeah, he's got an aura to him. Remember that Christmas video that your god made where he's talking about chasing you down in the woods with all his friends? To... Oh, <laughs> yeah. Edited, and, then, and then someone edited that so he's in, like, some Skyrim woods in front of the camera. I saw the funniest. One of my favorite, my favorite Lodger God clip is, um, the edit of him where, like, it's Magneto. And he's talking yeah. about, he's talking about, like, how the vaccines are, like, the next step of human evolution. And that if you're not down with the COVID vaccine, that you're like a piece of shit. And you're like, like when we get our superpowers, don't be crying. <laughs> we get power. We get cryokinesis, cryokinesis. <laughs> don't be shooting grenades at us. I've been seeing a lot of edits people made of Lunch Your God being, Fine. you should be jolly. Yeah. Because it's Christmas time. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I can't believe uh, I lost this fight yeah, twice in a too. row. Oh. This one's tough. Um, when I did it, I just can't wait till uh, me and Fahad live together and it'll I'll come in. I'll wake up in the middle of the night and be like, What the fuck is that? I'll catch Fahad sneaking DSP on his phone late at night. <laughs> <laughs> hey, drop it. Drop I haven't it. watched him in a long time, actually. It's been like a long ass time. It's been like, like at least a year. Realistically, I'll walk into the living room and look at our TV and help just watch Chris Boris while eating lunch. I'm not, yeah, yeah. see, I'm not obsessed with DSP. I'm obsessed with Chris Boris. Really? Why do you like Chris Boris? And Boris? the Sodja Critic. Ah. Well, Chris well, Boris is funny. Okay. Nostalgia Critic, I'm, I'm, I'm in on that one. I, I Chris Boris is like legitimately like has some of the most charming content. Like it's just, it's like it makes me smile. Like it's, it's just great. <laughs> Literally the other day, uh, the other day, uh, Fahad said, "What the hell?" But like not even like in a Chris Boris way. But I just said, "I was like, Fahad, I could never take you seriously when you say what the hell because like, just because of Chris Boris." <laughs> Fahad could like see like a family of five die across and be like, "What the hell?" And I'll be like, "Dave, can't take it seriously. You're just making an IRA gamer joke." <laughs> Connor, do you like a uh, Home Alone? Um, I haven't seen it in ages. I remember Wait, when I saw it as a kid, I thought it was, it was you, so good. You, you should watch the Home Alone Shadow Trick review because it's really good. No, uh, you should watch the Home Alone Shadow Trick review, uh, Home Alone. <laughs> Home Alone, yeah. <laughs> it's the gay porn of, uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's the most in the Colin Culkin face. You know what's funny? Um, I was watching his latest Home Alone review and he, um, he, he, like, they were filming something with, like, Santa Christ. Oh, um, hell yeah. And, uh, apparently, like, they got noticed by somebody for, like, some, like, organization. Like, like, like some, like, donation, like, organization to help, like, kids with like cancer or something. Oh yeah, they're God. like, is this, like, whatever? And then they're like, no, we're just filming, like, stuff. Like, Dude, you know how awesome would be if they said, would you guys be interested in, like, talking to some children dressed like that, making, making their day, and you yeah. have Rob Walker walking to the hospital with diet kids? Hello, everyone! Well, that's, that's, the, that's, well, that's the thing, like... <laughs> So like, so Doug Walker saw that as a sign. So he was like, he's actually so from that he actually did sign up for that um, charity and, and like. That's, can, that's cool though. Yeah. No, that's the thing, Doug. He's a good guy at the end of the day, man. Uh, he's a good I guy. I don't know, he's man. He's got like a whole ass like write up about how shitty of a boss he was. Well, that, but yeah, but he's not like compared to most YouTubers. Like, oh, he was a mean. There you go. Like, did not organize things well compared to like all the molesters and rapists and piece of shit. I mean, yeah. that's true, that's true, but he's still talking Think about it, Connor. Most YouTubers either end up retiring, getting cancer and dying, or becoming pedophiles. And honestly, I think one of the ones is the worst way out. <laughs> that's pretty, that's true. Doug Walker does have some kind of disease, I feel what it is, but it's actually, he, made, he did have a health update video, and he's doing okay, but... He's got gout. He doesn't have gal, he has something else. <laughs> That's Ares. I know. He has something like, that. Yeah, Ares. He's green. He sits in a green room all day and give him gal. My favorite part is anytime someone's like, Why is your camera green? He goes, Hey, what's up? Just got here. Get the fuck out of here. He's <laughs> like, Ban this bitch. <laughs> he, it's hilarious, too, because, like, I remember, like, somebody was saying, like, how like nice he is or someone there, or, like, how to be a better streamer. And he's like, Dude, don't ask me. Like, literally everything I do is, like, what you should not do to grow your audience. He like he like bans new people. Well, like makes fun of like new people. I, I like that about his. He's like not. He doesn't want to grow his channel. He wants it to stay the way it is. And yeah. Not <laughs> not Anytime someone him. says some shit, he goes, yeah, "You must great. be new. Which one of you guys left the fucking door open? Hey, we don't like new people here." <laughs> he's like minus one true Ares fan. One of my favorite fucking. Right. Things he's ever did is he was playing Melania, the hard boss in Elden Ring, mm. and someone says, "You got this man, I'm a big fan. Keep it up. You'll beat her eventually." And he just slowly looks to the screen and says, 
I'm about to fucking kill your ass so hard right now. And he just banned that fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I show, it was so funny how the show Pahad, like, he's, like, he didn't Yeah, he, like, turns, yet. like, he slowly just, turns, yeah. He's in the really middle of fighting the boss, and not, he's doing good, too. He just stopped playing, let the boss kill he threw him. He's like, the like, yeah, he threw it away because this one guy said some shit he didn't want to hear and said, I'm about to fucking kill your ass. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, I love this, this cutscene. This cutscene oh, works. Yeah. This it's gonna get cutscene. a little slow down, unfortunately. <laughs> Look, anyone out there, if you're looking for actually good streamers and entertainers who aren't pieces of shit and are actually funny, uh, look up Eris, mm -hmm. look up, uh, which is Avoiding the Puddle, or Majin Obama, some of the best yeah. ones you could ever watch. Oh, did you watch the new Majin Obama video, Connor? I was in the middle of it before we started watching the, it. The mm -hmm. Fat Genius? That, I yeah. love the idea of Fat Genius. I think that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, sure I, I, I like Eris, but like, there's only so much I can take at a time, you know? He's too <laughs> negative. <laughs> He's too negative. Fun, you, you know what it is? You know what, I know what it is for Connor. What? He's like, God, Eris is so funny, and then Eris is Metal like, Gear Solid 2. Metal Gear Solid 2 fucking sucks, and he's like, All right, I gotta. I well, remember. Okay, that's the thing. He he actually does like that game. It's just no. like he doesn't like things about it. Yeah. He likes no, all that Metal Gear. He only likes MGS1. Just one. Well, like, yeah, MGS1 was the only one. He no, does no, like. he, no. He likes. He actually said he likes all of them. He just he just said he doesn't like. Um, actually, the one he likes the least, I think, is five. He said. Really? I, a, but he, he, he said he likes. He said he likes one through four. Four sucks. I'm Despite Chris see, likes that's it, where, I, that's where me and Connor fucking will chimp out of each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you look the monkey with the leather diaper and I'm just four. I'm, I'm, I'm a big orangutan. I, I remember one time Connor messaged you though, and he sent me a video of Eris being like, fucking Metal Gear Solid 2 fans, who likes this shit? And he's like, oh hey, yeah, that's enough for today. I don't think I watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I was watching him play MGS3, and then um, he like got to the snake eater and he was like, man, this sucks. And I was like, alright, that's enough. <laughs> oh, you know what? He, he hates how Ocelot is in, uh, yeah. how long Ocelot is in that game. It's great. Yeah, Ocelot is awesome, though. He is, he is like, a sick-ass fucking character. Oh, Ocelot, dude, Ocelot cucked his own father. That's sick. Revolver <laughs> Ocelot is so cool. No, that's Otacon. Oh, Otacon. sorry, Otacon, you're right. No, maybe, I don't know, maybe Ocelot did get around. <laughs> I, oh. Ocelot is really sick. Um, Ocelot's always been sick. My favorite version of Ocelot is... Uh, I actually don't know. It's either 3 or 5. Mine is 1. He, doesn't he suck ass in 3? No, he's cool as fucking 3. But he didn't do like, the meow thing? No, yeah, he goes... And all the guys show up. He's goofy. He's goofy, yeah, yeah. Like, Dude, when he's defeating all the bees by revolving his fucking wall so 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 That is so silly. Uh, it's so awesome, though! Look, it's it's the riddle that <laughs> everyone knows. Like, I, I love watching Ares play Relics from Gear Solid 1, because as soon as Ocelot comes on, he's like, Remember when, like, Ocelot, like, shoots the bees? Isn't that the most stupid shit you've ever heard? <laughs> he's such a random thing I've ever seen. Alright, it's 4-2-3. Cause you, and then, uh, you start as a baba crawling, and then you're a man walking on legs, and now you're a fucking old man with a cane. And then that's you're a you man just... being like, I can't handle someone saying Metal Gear Solid 2 sucks. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get the fuck out of here, I'm gonna throw up. If someone's like, Raiden's just a bitch, Connor's like, I gotta get up and get out of here. I, I can't like Raiden, I think mean, Raiden's cool. Chris, when I was practicing this section, I did try to do the, the parry on these spikes. I, I couldn't do it well enough, I'm sorry. Yeah, have you seen that video I'm talking about, though? I think so, yeah. So, I, I, uh, I, there's a video I found where this is the guy, he, he royal guards all these spikes while walking through. He doesn't run either, he just walks. He, he RP walks. It's awesome. I think if I had um the one that works, in, if I had level 2 and I could do it in the air, it'd be easier. Oh yeah, you need that. For Does this. your window get bigger when you have like the upgraded? I don't think so. Oh, I think fuck. it's still just that one frame fucking. Oh, I hit the last one. You can uh, you can uh, trickster through this easy, yeah. Yeah, if you have like, if you, I don't think like trickster level one does though. Yeah, you need that level two to get far enough. Come on, come on. Alright, this was the boss, or the, or the fight when I did it last, that, like, those things pissed me off, because they, they just kept, like, running in while I was doing this. Just wait till the spikes turn back on. I know, that'd be, excuse me, that'd be sick if they did. I'm honestly, I was, when I first played this game, I was ready for it, but it never came, I was like, damn, I should've done that. Yeah, I know, right? Should I bother doing the third trial so that we can get the Artemis gun, because I'd never use it. <laughs> I mean, if you don't use it, then I, I don't see the point of it. Yeah. Well, 
We're yeah, going we'll for just... a 100% walkthrough. As a matter of fact, we're going to be doing 100% of the story. <laughs> <laughs> we, got our, we got our exit point planned. Oh, look at him go. Man, why can't Capcom like remake Dead Rising Water and just like make a, another good one? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think me or Connor ever played the... Have you played Dead Rising, Connor? I played a little bit of Dead Rising 2. Yeah, I didn't like 2. I didn't, I didn't like 2 sucks. Either. Um, Actually, they made. That's the thing. They fixed two with. Um, well, they had good ideas, but they there's Dead Rising two off the record where you play as Frank West in the first game, and like they added a lot of shit that's way better. When I, I remember you had to find um, Katie's Zombrex and it was really boring. Yeah, yeah, you have to get her, her insulin. I'm like, they this is not the, fun at they, all. Unfortunately, that's still in the game, but the Zombrex is for Frank, which I'm like, that makes more sense in terms of a story reason. I didn't oh, that fuck. gameplay sucks. <laughs> Um, you gotta get, yeah, Ag I you gotta get Agni. I know I should switch to it. Uh, I, I will say, man, I love Dead Rising 1, though. Dead Rising 1 is one of my favorite fucking games. I think Dead Rising 1 is one of the best launch titles I've ever mm. seen for a fucking console. That would have been a good um, Christmas video, too. Dead Rising 1. Yeah. And any, I'd, play, I'd be the one playing that one. Yeah, that's of one course, of the games yeah. I could play like the back of my fucking hand. That'd be weird, though, because I'd also want to like save survivors instead of like the main story. Yeah. The one I would, would do for sure though is the rain, the the raincoat killer cult, is because uh, you get a fucking awesome sword from that. Mm. Oh Connor, you know what you should also play? You should play Deadly Premonition on the channel. <laughs> that game's good. long though. It's a long game, yeah. That game does get kind of like too long. Also, if me and Connor play that game, it would just be talking about like, isn't Twin Peaks the most amazing show ever? <laughs> 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 yeah, I already have a video talking about Twin Peaks on this channel there with my sister. It's true. It's like almost an hour long too. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Oh, you know what? play. We play Coastal finish. finish. Oh yeah. Oh, you yeah. I know. I, I like that game. Toast we should to do Toaster Tour and like just spam the uh, the, uh <laughs> the <laughs> button. Yeah. That would be really fun for all three of us to, to play. Wait, which I'm one? Looking for, uh, Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. Oh, was, I that love was, that game. That was Good one of my favorite edits from the golfing uh, video. You did, <laughs> yeah. Where you put in the Toadstool Tour. Uh, yeah, they, just, they don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. You look ridiculous. Man, the first Virgil fight. All the Virgil fights in this game are awesome, but my favorite is mm -hmm. the last one. Yeah. There she is. Do you like the Leviathan fight in this game? I hate not? I hate Leviathan. I hate yeah. that stage. <laughs> I think it's okay. I think it's really unfun. There's areas and, in DMC one that kinda of remind me of the Leviathan area. Mm -hmm. That kind of but they in that game yeah, they go yeah. on way too long. Yeah. Um The thing about the Leviathan fight is that like it gives you your devil trigger and then it gives you a stage that's really bad to use your or that doesn't have any cool way to show <laughs> yeah. it off. You know? Yeah. That's true. And <laughs> I could have just left that. It gives you a stage that's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know what boss I fucking hate from one? Uh, Nightmare. Do you remember oh, him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nightmare fucking sucks. These are so annoying. My or Connor, it's, who whatever you... it is. Connor, who has the coolest DT, you think? Um... Dude, very girl. <sighs> oh, there she goes. I don't know. She's dead. Because... <laughs> I'll be real. I actually don't like that Dante's DT design changes with his weapons. Um, because I think a lot of them like aren't as good as like just his like default one with the uh, rebellion. So the one from three, favorite. <clears throat> yeah, I that's Cosmo Kaneko's design. His one in uh, four is pretty good, if I remember right. Yeah. Um, Virgil and five is my favorite because he has like the fucking instead of the horns, he just has that like fire shit coming out of his head mm. that looks like horns. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, that that one's really good. <laughs> Nero's is good. Damn, I did terrible on Origin style. You're, you've gotten an A, so I don't think you've anything. They've got a B at all. I think you've done an A solid. Yeah, you've, so you've been pretty good so far. Honestly, I think I got bad. one B. Uh, does Connor, it tell you your total you mission you, you need to get an A and all S so we can say ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I got I got all S's in um in Bayonetta, and that shit was fucking hard. Holy shit, that, that's tough. Like the pure yeah, platinum. Yeah, shit is not fucking easy. It's hard as fuck. I I, I started trying to do that because you unlock Gene by doing that. I, I forget what level it is, but there there is a level of Bayonetta that I, I just, for the life of me, I could not get more than bronze in it. <laughs> Which one is it the one with the two fire guys, the claws? Yes. Those oh. guys are so fucking hard. Oh for my me, god. It's, it's the one where you have to play Space Harrier before you fight Gene. I fucking hate uh, that, that Space Harrier minigame. Yeah, I think, uh, 
uh, in terms of the space level, I think uh, Media Hurt stepping from uh, Sonic Adventure 2 is better. <laughs> Media Hurt. <laughs> We should play a Sonic game, and that game I should play. Just so you can hear yeah. Connor groaning for an hour and a half. <laughs> I've played a little bit of Sonic, Sonic Adventure for the, for the first time in ages there recently. I didn't like Sonic it. Sonic Adventure's fun. You, you did like it? <laughs> I didn't. You didn't? Uh, <laughs> wait, Adventure, say, yeah, there's no wait, way Adventure 1? Like yeah, on the GameCube. Adventure 1's awesome. You, what are you talking let about? Let me tell you, Fahad, if Sonic is, if Sonic is on the screen whatsoever, Connor's going to be frowning no matter what. I'm sorry, wait, it was wait, Adventure it? 2. Okay, Adventure 2, I agree. Adventure 2 is overrated as fuck. I agree with that. I, uh, Adventure 2 is so overrated. There's so well, many bad levels. Said that. You're going you're gonna to attract every autist now. No, autist everyone knows Tales. all the fucking Tails level sucks. All the, all the Eggman levels yeah. suck. Yeah. Uh, Shadows yeah, levels are amazing. Ones. I agree. Sonic levels are amazing. I agree. Knuckles and Ru Rouges are the worst. Knuckles are okay. The Rouges are the worst, but here's the, here's the thing. Okay. I ju my love for that game, 99% of it comes from literally the Knuckles levels soundtrack. The soundtrack for Knuckles' levels is some of the best music I've ever heard in fucking video game. That's the only reason why the Knuckles levels are like okay. Well, Knuckles levels are alright, they're fine. Because the maps aren't that big, do, but Meteor Do you heard... understand the shit that they say there is like gospel to be a bitch? The shit's- the, the section's so weird because you don't even have to fight these guys. You can just get that and leave. Just grab it. Which I'm I prefer, going to do. I prefer Red Adventure 1. Light anyway. Let me let me remind you, Fahad. Well, I guess you're right. Damn right. Knuckles. Damn right, Knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think Adventure One's much, much. It feels better. The controls are way better in that game, uh, in my opinion. Uh, I would. I actually love to see Connor play it so they could be like, Fahad, I'm uh, sorry, this sucks. I also like it because it's really stupid. Like the voice acting, like the voice acting in two is also stupid, but the voice acting in one is so bad that it's like it's funny. You know it's what like I like good. about so there's a little Easter egg in Sonic Adventure One that I always thought was so cool as a kid, where you could see Metal Sonic, and that mm. was. uh... Was it? Okay, I, oh I yeah, say you see him in one of the uh, in the Eggman that one. Level level with, uh, yeah, yeah, I forget. You I will say his, his... I don't really like Sonic Adventure One all that much. It's fine, but I'm not a he I'm, also <coughs> not a, I'm not a Sonic fan in general. But I think Chaos oh. is cool as fuck. I think Adventure One's great. I Chaos is so first cool. I, I think the only bad levels are like I mean there are some bad there are a handful of bad levels, but like I think Big the Cast levels suck. But they're not that long, anyways. Uh, they're, they're commercial tag. <laughs> everyone like everyone hates Pizza Cat levels. But other than Big the Cat, like I, I think Fuck. Amy's levels are fine. Fuck. Well, that's because you are Amy. <laughs> you Amy do carry Rose. that big that big um big hammer, hammer everywhere. Yeah. Oh, I do have, I do okay, have three you know, arcs of hair. We got we got a. Three arcs of hair. God, I don't fucking hate that video. In, I saw his three arcs of hair. I said, well, goddamn, that is. I'm gonna ring on that. Welcome to hot chick. Connor, hair. do you believe in Guptail's top ten Sonic the Hedgehog characters? And do you agree if what do you mean Bruce believe? Is number one. Do you like it's Santa Christ? <laughs> Santa that, Christ. No, 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 no. Do you believe Fuck. that Bruce the Bat is the baddest bitch of all time? That was the question. I don't like Bruce the Bat. Bruce the Bat disgusts me. When people draw Bruce the Bat in a sexual manner, I, I actually like. I, I feel I wish, Ill. I wish. I wish. Mitch was here because he'd be like, Connor, what are you doing? I didn't know Mitch this, was this a fucking shit. I, you know how I've been stuck. I I've been stuck here for so long trying to get this shit. I'm with this. This this shit is annoying. I almost did it the first time. This this game's platforming is the only like, like it should not make you platform. The the trick yeah. is you 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 get the air hike to get up to one to like this one and then you jump once unless you fuck it up. <laughs> like, no, uh, I know I, I I've I've had an air hike for this too and it's just annoying. It's very like tight. Mm -hmm. Also, like the camera angle switching, like it's just yeah, it's not really intuitive this up. time. It's not it's, yeah. It's there, not, we like, there, there we go. go. There we go. It yeah. didn't even look like I jumped into it, but here we go. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the orb designs. I think they're so cool. I, I love how they look in five. There. In yeah. five, they look so sick. They're really good. Five. Um. Ooh, freaking dog. What you had on? These little fucking freaks. I can't wait for you to fight. Very good. Oh, when it comes to Sonic dog. games, I think the best one they ever made was Mania, and they'll probably never make one that good ever again. Mania, Sonic the Jack 2, and 3 and Knuckles are like the best. I only have Sonic CD. Yeah, actually, oh, I think yeah, I have CD. Sonic CD's CD. really good too. CD's really good, but CD has some gameplay problems. Um, but th CD also has like, like one of the best fucking soundtracks in like any fucking Honestly, game from that my era. favorite, my favorite thing about um, Sonic is just Corey screaming about it. It's probably the most so joy Sonic ever brought me. Yeah. I'm doing a bad job fighting these guys. Kind of these guys kind of suck. I don't like them. Me neither. Uh, they're alright. If you have Royal Guard, they're cool. Yeah, no, no. Like, if you had Stalin oh switch for this and you get Royal Guard, they're nothing. But, like... 
Fuck, I might take another there, attack there is from this section you can, you can also just like dodge through their shit and then just like go yeah, to their side. Yeah, you can just teleport straight up. Yeah, yeah I've used Trickster a lot, actually. I, I've been the that, that's, Trickster. That's why I like Virgil's moveset, because that just comes with him. You just push B and you fucking you go off. Oh, wait. That's just a- that, we don't need that. That's like an, a green That's a health spot. item. If you pick that up, you're a fucking puss. puss. No, 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 I swear. I like how, like, using items, like, brings Makes down you your bitch. score. Yeah. What's the, I using think the, items is using magic in this game. I think the one character action game that I ever use items in is uh, Metal cool. Gear Rising. Yeah, uh, I'm just Rising, yeah. Yeah, because that, that one, like, you just you just do that. It's like a Metal Gear game, and you use items all the time in Metal Gear. Well, also, you get cool oh, out of, like, RPGs and grenades and shit. These guys' designs are and so... And you get those this health like some of the things that, like, that you absorb after you die, or after your health gets to zero. This enemy design is so fucking cool. I, I love Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, though. That game is so sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that game is awesome. I've been meaning to replay it. I love that fucking game. Uh, you do. It's oh. weird that you, we, we're, we live in an era where, like, game design is, like, so, like... Amazing, like in terms of what you can do, but like you just people are too fucking scared to make these kinds of games. Though, like the 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 action character game, like Don't Let Cry, Vendetta, Metal Gear Rising. It's like, can you name another one besides them? Because I can't. Well, there were other ones, but there are a lot of them that failed. It, there, it's a hard genre to perfect. No, it is, but I'm surprised like you don't see more people attempting it nowadays. I always thought you could do a, a yeah. fucking like stellar uh, character action game using KOF characters. Oh yeah, like, no, that'd be awesome. I think Terry Bogard's like moveset like perfectly translates to Wasn't being like Wasn't there a game like that though, Connor? Wasn't there like a 3D KOF like kind of beat em up kind of thing? Um, I don't know. I, I think there was. So, you know what game? You know what game good, saw though. I think would fit KOF very nicely is like a Muso type game. Yeah, but then I wouldn't play it. <laughs> Muso games could be fun. The most fun I ever played was the Berserk one. I know it's not very biased, but <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's just because it's just like a. It's just like a power fantasy kind of game. It's just mindless fun, and I love that. Like, okay, and the Berserk one, you can unlock the Berserker armor, and it is the most sick fucking shit I've ever fucking I played I guess the, game. the new Yakuza game's kind of like a Muso. It's a, yeah, because it has Muso-like element. I, dude, I need to play more of that. I've been lacking on that. But I'm also trying to... I'm so close to, like, 100 percenting fucking Monster Hunter Iceborne. Oh, damn. Yeah, I want to get done with Monster Hunter so I can play other games. Like Monster Hunter Generations? <laughs> yeah. Monster Hunter is like so fucking good, but it's so like addicting. an addiction. Yeah, it's an addiction. It's good as fuck though. That's why when you get a babe who also likes it, you can share in your addiction like a heroin addict. <laughs> you can both be skinny, decrepit, and missing your teeth. Like, oh, we love Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter is um, sick. Ah, oh, shit. Blast off! I remember this one being kind of hard when I first did it. I was here for a bit. First time I was. You gotta use life. Stinger enough for it to work. Yeah. Cause he, ah oh fuck, cause that has to be reset to where that's like not stale. Come on. Blast off. Oh no, that was supposed to take me up. <gasps> oh, the jump, yeah. Come on. That moves so weird cause, there we go. Nice. There you go. It's actually Stylish get, too. To actually get the little bits of the style points, you have to like, Taunt! miss the timing. <laughs> I should really play God Hand. That might be like, one of the next games. I have so many games yeah. I like. It should be fucking games, dude. I gotta play Metal Gear first. Yeah. Or you could you finish just a DMC. Metal Gear? <laughs> or DMC, yeah. I kinda, I'm kinda can, more in a Metal Gear mood. Oh, they're playing Metal Gear. It's too many games. <laughs> I just play none of them. <laughs> too many games and too many babes. <laughs> just play no games and I just should just do work. I should just like put a really grenade good. in my mouth. Well, hey, you're Stop almost graduated. Stop playing video games. Stop some, wasting some time for games. <laughs> put a grenade in my mouth. <laughs> Connor, if I play a game, like, it goes off. Connor, you know what would be a good video idea? What? <laughs> that would be you could do? <laughs> what? For like Easter, we could like, I could speed run Postal 2. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be fun to watch you speed run that. I, I can. I, 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 that actually, there's. Um, Postal 2 is one of the few games where I'm like, I want to get every achievement. It's like the one game that I think uh, achievements are fun to get. And gross. one of the achievements is to literally speed run the game. I, mean, you, I think you have to beat it. It's either beat it in less than an hour and 45 minutes or less than 45 minutes. I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, that's I a, love that's... Postal 2, though. Love that game. <clears throat> Do you remember watching me uh, play it on call and <laughs> it would not stop crashing on Friday? Yeah. It's just not optimized, yeah. Oh, fucking shit. Damn, that fucking sucks. It's an old game, though. It's got some... 
two little buffs and kinks, but it's all right. That's why I'm excited to see Postal Four get made. I I, I also for, I really wish I switched back to the uh, the this nunchucks. Is a cool room. This room is really cool looking. Let's hope I don't die on it because sometimes I do. Colors on there, kid. Ah, oh, that's right. You can't fuck it. Ah. Wow. The crystal skull. That's an SMT demon right there. Dan Aykroyd's crystal skull. <laughs> that guy's insane. This is like the I only way Dan to do Aykroyd. this right. <laughs> Got it. It's funny because it's like, oh, you're supposed to like chase it around, but like you can literally just hop on top and destroy it, no problem. Damn, you got the crystal skull vodka. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, are you a Indiana Jones fan, Connor? I, I I am, and I was. Oh yeah, as a, you as a are, child, I was so disappointed in uh, the that movie. Did you watch the new one? Uh, I watched half of it, or like half of it, on the, my plane ride last. <laughs> <laughs> said, I remember you said it was horrible. No, yeah. that, Dude, that the crystal me. skull sucks. I hate this crystal skull. Oh my skull. god, it really sucks. Okay, that was really bad. I yeah, need that, that really to drop off. Do you know what made the crystal skull actually enjoyable? What? Chalo game. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I remember playing that. The, the, the game's weird because like they are, they did a layer game for the first three Indiana Jones movies, and then they did the new game. So they had to do like they did all four movies. They did the first three again. Ugh. The Crystal Skull Lego sets were better than the movie. <laughs> yeah, they are. They Way better. I, mean, I mean, it was like designed to be like something that sold well like that. <sighs> Isn't that funny? There's like Nazi Lego set. Like I remember, I had like the Nazi lady, and then like I had like the fire ants. I had like this, this these like little fire ant. Oh, Legos. Connor, you know you should give the give a shot. It's Wolfenstein. I I know. I need to finish. Oh, I need to finish. Um. Oh fuck. Oh wait. I, oh, I'm still alive. Oh, you're Not alive. Anymore. Damn. Not anymore. <laughs> Sorry, gamers. Damn, that's like Continue. my fifth death. Um, oh, you know another one we should uh, do this, Connor. What? We got Halloween videos. Uh, blood. Oh yeah, I'm not that good at blood. I am. <laughs> yeah. Um. But what was I gonna say? <clears throat> oh yeah. Uh. Actually, fuck, I can't remember. <laughs> <In the middle laughs> <thing>. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's all good. I hate so these Indiana fucking Jones and, like how you fuck the snake or something. Indiana <laughs> <laughs> um, Jones. He had to do it. I didn't Surprise. get into like the weird like shit of that movie yet. It was just like kind of like... I don't oh, you're know. talking about how weird it had there was like Lego Nazis. <laughs> that was fun. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. The only ever Lego... Like, er, oh, Lego Wolfenstein, that's what was. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to finish the the one by Raven from the early 2000s. I need to finish that and then I'll play the, oh, the uh, old the one. Xbox one? Uh, no, no, the... Um, no, no, it, it was like a PC game. Yeah, I think it's like from 2001. Well, I'm thinking of Return to Castle of Yeah. Which, that game is good. Yeah. Or the one that has like the weird gem stuff, that one? Yeah, yeah. That one seemed weird, I never played it. It's not bad. Come on. I love, I love talking retro shooters with Connor. Yeah, yeah, gamer. Fuck. Cause then we'll be like, did you see the new Civi video? Yeah, exactly. Did oh, I actually watched the new Civi video, Civi video uh, <laughs> recently. I, it was really good. I liked it. Which one? Strife. Uh, yeah, Strife, yeah. I wasn't telling you to watch Civi forever. I've been watching it for a while. Mm. I've been telling you to Civi's good. watch Civi's Santa good. Claus as he's flying from the North Pole. Now, we have not kept this Christmas at all, but you know what? <laughs> That's but, fine enough, because you want to know why? Dante is Santa Claus color, so we don't have to do shit. This is true. He is, and Jack Frost is coming up. We're getting, we're getting close. I love that. Uh, that Holy shit, of, he uh, does look like. Virgil does look like Jack Frost. <laughs> yeah. From the, uh, from the Santa Claus 3. I know, I was gonna say, I love that edit of the poster where it says Double May Cry 3. That, that's what I made <laughs> this group <laughs> chat. That's gonna be the thumbnail for this, isn't it? That's gonna be thumbnail. <laughs> Something for sure, like yeah. it. Nah, you should, you should draw the thumbnail. I like the only oh, yeah. drawing thumbnails. Yeah, no, okay. I, I like the one so I did. Um, Santa Claus three poster. <laughs> I like the one I did for the Turf Masters, where I'm like looking at like the golf ball you're about to hit. Uh, yeah, I'm about to like fucking knock your fucking. Oh, you did. You got you got the fucking stripper pole thing. I love when that shit happens. I know. I forgot to show that off in the club. In the club. In the club. That's why da when Dante was there, he's like, "What is this pole? What is this place? <laughs> what is this strange place?" Whoa. It smells like it smells sour in here. <laughs> it smells kind of vinegary. I never been to a strip club before, but I bet they don't smell good. 
I guarantee that I've never been the one either. Don't plan on it, and I can guarantee they don't. I, I've I almost do been to strip clubs like multiple times, strip but like something came up where I didn't go. Babe, I'm glad you didn't go. I think they would have done something bad to you. <laughs> I just think it'd be like, ah, uh, it's like, let's get hard with my friends together. Sounds fun. It's like, uh, come on. Let's pay for some fake uh, affection. Yeah, let's pay for fake affection. We were like discussing this last while, while we're like Connor next to is, uh, In Yakuza Zero, um, the song that plays with the cabaret club is called "Fake Love." Yeah, that's that's funny. so genius. I mean, I'm sure like there's like an appeal to like strip clubs. Like, I'm not gonna like, knock people to enjoy it, but it's not for me. I will. You're a disgusting pig. <laughs> I wish I fucking had the nunchucks still, because that, 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 that makes this fight way easier. The only you thing can... about, uh, you know, about tri good strip clubs though is those, those ladies are getting paid. Like they make a lot of fucking money. Yeah, they pay off college. Like, so they're they're getting paid their dues. Yeah. Maybe I oh, should do that. Actually, that was awesome. Holy shit. That, that's actually a huge honeypot trap though, Connor, because like they're like, yeah, I'm doing it to pay for college and they make so much money and like they get a new lifestyle that requires that much money. That's so, way yeah. better. Like, to be honest, that's way better than OnlyFans because OnlyFans will follow you forever. Like being a stripper, that might follow you a bit, like, but like that have to be like people who you like know. Like you could like leave town. And also, and just also being a stripper, you could be like, oh, I am an entertainer, I work in the entertainment business. <laughs> the OnlyFans moms who like take their parent their, their kids to school and that's they like so fucked up and they have the their OnlyFans in the back of their car, the, those people are that, disgusting and should be like fucking psychotic. arrested. No, because it's actually that's how you get disgusting. Your, that's how you get your kid bullied, like, hey, tell your mom to take more asshole pictures next time, nerd. It's you also like longer. advertising pornography to children, that's which is absolutely yeah. like, as oh, evil as evil about, gets. Uh, are you talking about Twitch dot, uh, Twitch dot TV? <laughs> there was like, well, there was this, there was this like lady on Twitter, and she was oh. like, "Gotta get that bag," and everyone's like, "You're a fucking psycho." You're, a, yeah, You're no, disgusting. that really does make people like. Not only that, it like it poisons the mind. Like it makes you like psychotic in the way you think of like. If your if your like, mom is like doing that, like that's just I don't know, that's just fucking. Weird. No, that, that's that's so inconsiderate of your kid. This is wrong. Also, yeah. fuck, I'm just barely shy of another blue orb, which would have been nice to go into this boss fight with more health. Maybe you should start an OnlyFans and you'll get donated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dante's OnlyFans. <laughs> Please, I need a blue. I need one more blue orb to beat Virgil. Uh, I don't think there's anything. Oh no, I have Stinger level two. I guess I gotta upgrade my gun. I should, so I should draw. I'm thinking of drawing Jesus. porn of uh, Ryden. <laughs> Come on, don't rush. Ryden with a fat ass. God, that was a that was a car crash intersection. You just. <laughs> 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 you <don't> forgot. <laughs> I would never draw I porn of like DMT characters, but Ryden's. Uh, uh, I'd rather totally hear talking about Toy Bonnie rather than Ryden. <laughs> oh my God. Toy Bonnie. I did draw porn of Toy Bonnie. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. awesome. Cause there's no reason to, to save that money cause... Oh, my Twitter got suspended. It, it did? From, it did, yeah. What did you do? I don't know what I did, no. that's the problem. I've done, that, I've done that before where just like I opened it once and it was just suspended and for like a few hours. No, this was permanent. Oh shit, really? Yeah, I, I, I wrote like an appeal and I was like... Well, you were... Well, yeah. you're the bring up is you went like a tirade against like the uh, Israeli government. <laughs> I did not do that. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh look, we're just gonna be like, Dante, they took my Twitter. <laughs> the scum. He's sitting in that lawn chair. I've been there gooning for hours. <laughs> you cannot match my power. This is the coolest fucking fight. Look at this fucking backdrop to this fight. This, this is the coolest is shit. This is, shit. this is epic. This is literally Dante. epic. What if you're like, um, are life. you literally my brother? Like, what the <laughs> heck? He knows who it is. I did a pretty good time on this run through. Yeah. I don't know, what time did we, let me check my, we're, we're like uh, an hour 40, 49. Oh, that's, that's, what I that's great time. Yeah. That's about what I expected, yeah. I, 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 got, I was like 210 last time I did this. So let's see if I can beat my record. Yeah, the and the only babe right just left. I, I love I that. Think I, I think I, I say the word babe so much as because it's <laughs> 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 hey, Babe's such a good word, isn't that right, babe? It is a great, uh, great word. <laughs> I like the word babe. Babe? Babe? Because even though Fahad is my babe, sometimes we'll just be like, babe? <laughs> <laughs> babe, to have a kiss from this gun. <laughs> we do that every day, up. actually. Yeah, Fahad, I wake up to a revolver in my face every day, and it's like <laughs> yeah. what Fahad's funny little jokes like to pull on me. Yeah. You, you hear a loud click and you open your eyes. You say, babe. <laughs> Good morning. And you, go, <laughs> and you do that. Uh, got lucky again. This fight is so chamber. fucking sick. This no, song fuck. too. This song is so sick too. This I'm song is so sick. Oh fuck. 
Scum. Scum. Fuck. I'm just. Scum. Maybe I should just let him kill him so I can do it. Alright, I'm. I'm you in got it. a cold, yeah. Do it. It's okay, I just need to restart. Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite things I ever did is, um, Pat and Willie played all the Souls games completely out of order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, Dark Souls 2, I think the Dark Souls 2 playthrough is one of the, their best play playthroughs. I, I, it was really I, funny, I always bring this up, Connor, but I always bring up to Chris how, like, me, me and you were, like, like, weirdly, like, so similar, where, like, we would both, like, with our tea, like, drink tea before bed and, like, watch <laughs> that exact fucking, those exact videos. Like, Series, yeah, we were watching. Dark Souls 2, yeah. You know, you're referencing the screen, uh, you know, I don't know why. I'm to do yeah. that, um, yeah. the screen. Sorry, you can, you can cut that out. I know I was gonna say, I right? used to breakfast the screen as a child, and can you believe I'm not the game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, you're not the game. You, you should just beep that, Connor, and just be like, what if I just said the end, where is a little crazy? I'm sorry about that, out, Connor. <laughs> you, you, can, you, can cut that, you can cut that out. No, no, that's okay, it's true. <laughs> it is it is funny though. Connor's it's like hilarious. deeply was hitting me forever for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How dare yeah. he? You're gonna, you're gonna get a really long message. Connor was having a good day until that happened. I know. I'm gonna get a really long message about how um, I hurt Connor's feelings. Oh, I, I told you that in full confidence. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, I wanted to tell everybody, even though I could have edited it out. I listen, didn't. listen. Yes, Connor wearing his Yogg's Cast t shirt. Get the fuck over it. I did used yeah, to watch Yogg's Cast. Yeah, I really like Yogg's cast. I used to watch Nostalgia Critic and I still oh do. Oh so my god. That. You still watch Nostalgia Critic. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I do too. I watch it with like both of you do. I, I like Nostalgia Critic, okay? I think he can be legit. I think his Home Alone review is actually legitimately like well written. See, look, this is fine. No, this is good. We're feeling. We're <laughs> I'm not feeling, even joking. Uh, we're, look at look at this. We're fueling Connor's anger to keep going. Look at that one hit away, almost killed Virgil. Keep talking about Nostalgia Critic. He'll he'll do it. I know he'll, he'll do, do it. it. He'll, he'll do, do it. it. He'll do it. Think about how much you hate the Walker. There we go. Oh there we my go. God. That was so sick. That was actually awesome. Doug, what do you think about that? <laughs> Did you see? Did you see him like glitching there? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's like going backwards. <laughs> it's like a YTP. <laughs> this is uh, this is this is right now. This is me and Connor arguing about Delver Cry Four. <laughs> like Four. I like the gameplay of Four. I just oh, don't sorry, like no, the double no, no, design. No, 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 God damn it! I wrote a joke. MGS Four. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chris. I hate MGS Four. It's. <laughs> I'm trying to get the PS3 emulator working for that one. That one? Yeah, I, I said I, I literally sent Chris a meme about how hard it is to emulate it. Yeah, it really is. That, that game is just like... It doesn't even run on well on the actual hardware. It's like fucked I, up. I mean, they're gonna bring a 4 to Steam, aren't they, eventually? They are. They are. So mm. I'll, I'll just buy it there, even though David, the 4 is gonna David suck. David Hayner but... confirmed that. He's like, this is only the beginning for the HD collection. So yeah, I'm just like, thank God. Yeah, they're gonna bring Peace Walker and uh. That's gonna be a sure. good collection there, because that'll have probably uh it'll have Peace Walker and have MGS4. It'll probably have horrible maybe emulation it'll, though. Maybe um, it'll have special ops on it too. It's gonna it's gonna have horrible emulation. Yeah. But it's no, the only no, way I can play it, so I might as well just play that version. You don't have a PS3? Nope, I don't. I, yeah, I was a 360 kid. Me yeah. too. <laughs> this is weird because like all the collection there's a really amazing like one of the, the best collection for like those games are on the 360 and the PS3. Yeah. The HD collection. Yeah, the HD collection. Damn. Really good ports. I can't this believe Jack so Frost sick. just killed Don or killed Santa. I love oh, when he chops man. his hand. Like uh, yeah, that. I know. It's, I love when he does that too. It's just so, like nice little. Touch me. It's so nice fucking mean. You. It's yeah, so good. Yeah, it's so mean. He was fucked up though. Cut a little thingies off. The, the ending of this game is really sad because it's just like, mm -hmm. he, like Dante still like feels bad about like you know fighting his brother. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it's snowing and while it's in, raining. Look at that guy. And then in, and then in DMC Five, he's like, "Let's just, just fight it. forever in hell." And he's like, "Sick, dude." Huh. <laughs> uh oh. Slow down a little. No. That's awesome. I did that to my sister once. That's how I look when I she, just jack off. She said off. something wrong about Twin Peaks. You fucking. <laughs> she <Yeah>. likes Twin Peaks. <laughs> Spill his cast. Connor, that's what you did to sister when she got in the way of getting your trombopoline. <laughs> trampoline. Trampopoline. I love that. I think I'm at the the joke in The Simpsons where he gets Marge the bowling ball named Homer. Like a, a lot. I think about that joke a lot. That's so fucking cool. Punching it right in there, yeah. 
<laughs> oh my god, that part's so me. sick. Wait, we should leave. <laughs> we should leave we him should so leave. he can get stronger and beat two us. More, two more rounds of this. God, he's like, we should leave. I'm scared, Virgil. <laughs> Quick, he needs to do the boss fight where his dad caught him watching porn. This is the best Dante. Oh yeah, ever this liked. design is amazing. This is his best I do design. like I two do is like good I do like homeless Dante in five. No, DMC two also I'm, has an amazing design. But this four is, is also good too. Great. Uh, they're four all good. Dante just, Dante's look good always. Yeah. Oh, I think this is his best design in my opinion. The oh, Akeno style. I, agree. I love how um, his uh, claws gets ripped up. He just yeah. he just made Christmas real. It's the very first Christmas, guys. Chris, it's Christmas Kringle. You could basically say Dante oh, is the prophet oh. Muhammad. Merry Christmas to all and all a good night. <laughs> do, 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 do. Damn. Merry Christmas. He's dead. Christmas and that's is where ruined. We end it. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's how it ends. What a depressing You know what's man. fucked up? I, I remember watching <laughs> The Diaper Before Christmas as a kid for the mm -hmm. first time ever on TV. Mm -hmm. And it, it cuts to the commercial break where Boogie Woogie is like eating <laughs> Jack and like the girl. He's like sucking him in, right? Or no, he's sucking in Santa and the yeah. girl in, in his basement. And when it came back from commercial, it just played the credits. I was like, what? That's the ending? So like, <laughs> for years, awesome. I thought that was the ending. <laughs> that's the awesome. Diaper Before Christmas. Dude, that's how I thought, um... Fat Albert ended. I thought he'd die at the end because you know how he gets sucked into the TV and he, or he can't get out and he dies. <laughs> I thought, I thought like, and then like it cuts to like his his grave. I, I didn't watch more of it. I thought he actually died and it really fucked me up. It was like, I know, wait, Fahad was that's getting funny. pissed off when we told him he didn't because we thought we were lying to him. That's, that's really funny. Also, when Fahad learned that Dobby died. Yeah, I thought Dobby lived because <laughs> I, I watched, I watched, I watched, um, Harry Potter movies one, one through like, f like five at the time. But I, and then I, and I just watched Seven Part Two, so I like skipped the movie where like Dobby died, and I didn't know he died. Dobby's the one redeeming thing of Harry Potter. No, Dobby's... we're not having this conversation. The video's <laughs> over. Get at, get the fuck out of here. I'm Santa Claus. <laughs>